This week, attorneys for a photojournalist arrested during a Black Lives Matter protest revealed that they reached a settlement with the city of Atlanta for violating his First Amendment rights. New at 5, Fox 5's Claire Sims spoke exclusively with the photojournalist at the center of that lawsuit. Everything was fine, and then all of a sudden there was like a rush of maybe like five police officers running towards a gentleman and a woman. Freelance photojournalist Sharif Hassan says conflict photography is a passion of his, and he has captured demonstrations around the world. Hassan was in Atlanta during the protests following the death of George Floyd in 2020. I started running after them and just kind of photographing what was happening at the time. And then next thing I know, there was an officer on top of me pushing me down and pinning me to the ground. Um, and then, yeah, and then I was escorted to jail. The city of Atlanta had instituted a 9 p.m. curfew, and Hassan says officers arrested him, despite the fact that he identified himself as a working journalist. The First Amendment Clinic at the University of Georgia's School of Law, along with two private attorneys, announced they reached a settlement in a lawsuit against the city of Atlanta. Part of the settlement pushes for the city to include language in any future curfew orders that provides exceptions for journalists and essential workers. There's a lot that was left unclear those days of the curfews, so I think having that moving forward and having these incidents happen so these mistakes don't happen moving moving forward I think is is super important and I think that was the that was my main focus on this case Hassan and his legal team stress that the first amendment always applies even in times of unrest unfortunately it happens and we just have to be vocal about it as opposed to just like letting it happen and just like moving forward. Uh, and I think that's the most important part is just being vocal and being a part of those protests in this manner is just as important as being on the picket line. As part of the settlement, the city of Atlanta had to pay out $105,000. Hassan says most of that money deservedly went to his legal team, who he says will continue to fight for the rights of journalists. In Atlanta, Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.